Hello everyone, this is Naneshwar Sanap, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Chemistry at Maratha Vidya Prasar Samaj, Arts, Commerce and Science College, Nilul. In this video lecture, we will discuss about the coordination chemistry and terms involved in the coordination chemistry one by one. Let us first start the introduction to the coordination chemistry. Basically, coordination compounds or metal complexes or complexes are the special class of compound in which the metal atom or ion are bounded with the ligands by the coordinated bond or by the using of coordinate bond. Coordination compound containing the central atom or ion that is metal atom or ion is surrounded by the cluster of ions or molecules called as metal complexes. The next important point is the metal complexes may be ionic that is cationic or ionic or non-ionic that is neutral in nature. That means there are three types of metal complexes. It may be cationic, it may be anionic or it may be neutral. Let us see how the metal complexes form or what is the basic requirement to form the metal complexes. Basically two required condition for the formation of metal complexes. First one is metal atoms or ion provide the sufficient number of empty orbital for the formation of bond that is coordinate bond. Then and then we get an coordination compound or coordinate compounds. The second important point for the formation of coordinate compound is the surrounding atom or ions or molecule should contain the pair of electrons to donate the central atom or ions. That means whatever molecules or ligands having at least one single electron pair or lone pair of electrons to donate the central atom then and then it able to form the coordinate compounds. These two terms are very important for the coordinate compound formation. Nowadays different type of inorganic compounds are prepared and we have to see one by one. Basically two types of inorganic compounds are prepared. The first one is double salt or hydrated compounds or it also called as molecular or addition compounds. Some compounds have a tendency to retain their identity in the solid state but lose their identity in the solution state and gives the test for individual ions called as double salt compounds or hydrate compounds. The example of such type of compound is potash alum. In this case basically this K2SO4 Al2SO4 thrice 24 water molecule it gives an individual test for K plus ion, Al3 plus ion and SO4 2 minus ion separately. That means whatever ions present in this compound gives the individual test for itself. Similarly, FeSO4, NH4 twice, SO4, 6 water molecule that is called as Mohr's salt gives the test for Fe2 plus ion, NH4 plus ion and SO4 2 minus ion separately. The third example is Cranolite. The molecular formula for the Cranolite is KCl, MgCl2, 6 water molecule. After addition of this compound in the water molecule and carrying the chemical test, it gives the test for K plus ion. Cl minus ion and Mg plus ions separately. Here Mg2 plus. Okay. The second type of inorganic compound is coordination or complex salt. Basically, the complex salt or complex compounds are retain their identity in the solid state and lose their identity in the solution state, but do not give the test for individual ions called as complex salt or the coordinate compounds. Let us see the example. K4 FeCl6 three water molecules. When this compound is add in the water or dissolve in the water, it gives the test only for K plus ion. It does not give the test for Fe plus and Cn minus ion separately. But it gives the test for K plus ion and FeCl6 four minus ions separately. That is the major difference between the coordinate compounds and double cell compounds. The next important point is difference between the double cell compound and coordinate compounds. Let us see one by one. Double cell compound exist only in the crystalline state but complex compounds are exist both in crystalline as well as solution state. The second most important difference is all the constituent ions can be detected in the double salt compounds but all the constituent ions cannot be detected in the complex salt compounds. The third important difference is the initial components does not lose their identity in the solution. 
for the double salt compounds but individual components lose their identity in the solution for the complex compound absence of complex ion for the double salt but the presence of complex ion for the complex salt and the example for the double salt is crinolite potash alum etc and the example for complex salt is k4fcn6 tetra ammonium copper sulfate and hexa ammonium nickel chloride the next important point is historical development during the study of coordination chemistry basically there is three major periods in which the development of coordination chemistry is take place the first one is later part of 18th century towards the 1893 the second major part is vernier era 1893 to 1940 third major part is modern era 1914 and onward to till date the fourth important point is earliest recorded coordination compound is persian blue this persian blue coordination compounds is formed accidentally in the 174 this persian blue is formed by the heating of animal waste and the sodium carbonate in the iron vessel and get the color compound and nowadays we get this persian blue by mixing the ferric salt with the potassium hexaferrocyanate by chemical process the fifth important evolution in the coordination chemistry is in 1753 Macquer prepared the potassium hexaferrocyanate by reacting the persian blue with the alkali. The sixth historical development is in 1798 Tasserda prepared the hexaamine cobalt third chloride by mixing the solution of cobalt chloride with the aqueous ammonia. The next development in between the 18th century from 18 to 1815 following compounds were prepared one by one. The first one is K3FeCN6 in 1822, PtNH3 4, PtCl4 in 1828, and sodium FeCN5 you know in 1849. Now let's move towards the different basic terms involved in the coordination chemistry. This is very important for the understanding coordination chemistry. Let us see one by one. The first important term is coordination compound basically the complex compound in which the number of bond formed by the central atom or ion is greater than that of expected valency then such kind of compound is called as coordination compound the second most important point is extra group or ions are attached to the metal by coordinate bond in which the attached group that is ligand is a donor atom and metal atom or ion is called as acceptor The third important point is coordinate compound may be either cationic anionic both or neutral in nature the example of cationic complexes tetra ammonium copper ion in this case basically copper having natural valency is 2 always but the coordination number is 4 that means there is difference between the valency of an copper and the coordination number of an copper The anionic complexes example is FeCl6 ion the valency for Fe is generally 3 or 2 but the coordination number for the Fe here is 6 example for the cationic and anionic complexes is CONS3 6 ion and chromium CN6 ion the valency for the chromium and cobalt here is 3 3 for both but the coordination number for the both metal ion is 6 6 the example for the neutral coordination compound is cobalt and s3 thrice cl thrice that is trichloro triammonium cobalt the valency for cobalt is 3 here but the coordination number is 6 that means there is no relation between the valency and the coordination number of an coordinate compound here we can see the valency is different than that of coordination number the second most important term is complex ion basically a complex ion is a charge species form when the metal atom or ion is directly attached to the group of neutral molecule or ion that is ligands 
Complex ion is indicated by the enclosing formula from ion in the square bracket. That means whatever ions of metals and the ligands is written in the square bracket is denote the complex ion. Example for the complex ion is tetraammonium copper ion. In this example, when we see here copper ion and ammonium ligand is present in the square bracket and whatever metal atom or ion and ligand present in the square bracket is known as complex ion. Similarly, the second example, there is cobalt metal in the plus 3 oxidation state and NO2 minus ion present in the bracket and the whole ion is called as complex ion. The third example in which there is presence of one cobalt atom, three neutral ligand that is ammonia molecule and three negative ligand that is Cl minus ion and whatever part present in the square bracket is known as complex ion. Basically complex ion having three types. It may be positive, it may be negative or it may be neutral. That means it may be cationic, it may be anionic, it may be neutral. The next important term is central atom. Basically it is a metal atom not an ion present in the neutral coordination compound to which two or more neutral molecule or ligands are attached. That means whatever coordination compound is formed in which metal atom as well as ligands are without charge. The example for such kind of coordination compound is NiCO4. In this case nickel having zero oxidation state and no charge on the carbon monoxide as well as on the nickel atom. Similarly, the second example is FeCO5. In this case also, Fe does not have any positive charge that means FeN plus and carbon monoxide does not have any negative charge and that's why this whole coordinate complex is neutral in nature. Whatever metal is known by the central atom. In this case basically, this cobalt in plus 3 oxidation state that's why it is not called as central atom but this is a central ion that we see in the next. Both the nickel and Fe has zero oxidation state here. We have to keep in mind for the central atom, the metal in the coordination complex having zero oxidation state always. The next important term is central metal ion. This central metal ion and central metal atom are confusing term that's why we have to keep in mind the central metal atom in which the metal having zero oxidation state but metal ion having some oxidation state. Let us see. The central metal ion is the metal ion in the complex to which two or more neutral or anionic ligands are attached. And the example for the central metal ion is cons 5 cl 2 plus In this case basically cobalt having oxidation state of an plus 3. That means cobalt having plus 3 oxidation state. The major difference between the central metal ion and metal atom is metal ion having oxidation state more than 0 and metal atom having oxidation state 0. The next important term is ligand or coordinating group or also called as Lewis base. Basically any atom or ion or molecule which is capable for the donating the pair of electrons to the central atom or ion called as ligand or coordinating group or Lewis base. That means any kind of molecule having tendency to donate the pair of electrons to the other one or metal one then it called as ligand. In ligands basically the particular atom which donates the electron pair called as donor atom or also called as donor site. Depend on the number of donor atom in the ligand, ligands are classified into two categories. The first one is unidented ligand and second one is polydented ligand. Basically, unidented ligand is a ligand in which only one atom in the whole molecule is responsible for donation of electron density to the central metal atom or ion. That means there is only one donor site or donor atom in the whole molecule. But in polydented ligand, when two or more atoms in the molecule work as a donor atom or donor side, then such kind of ligand or molecule called as polydented ligand. Only one donor atom, then the ligand is called as monodent or unidented ligand. 
When two donor atom, then the ligand is called as bidentate ligand. When three donor atom, then ligand is called as tridentate ligand. When four donor atom, then ligand is called as tetradentate ligand. So on. Basically, when ligand containing only one donor atom in the whole molecule, then such ligand is including under the class of inudentate ligand. But when ligand containing two or more donor atom in the same molecule, then such all type of ligands are including in the second type of ligand that is polydented ligand. The sixth important term is bezid ligand. Basically, when inudented ligand may be simultaneous coordinated with the two or more metal atom or ion, then such a ligand is called as bridged ligand and the compound form is known as bridged complexes. Let us see the example. In this case, basically, this chlorine atom at the center point is coordinate with the two Fe ions simultaneously and that's why this chlorine atom is known as bridged ligands and whatever complex form is called as bridged complex. Ligand may be negative ion, may be positive ion or may be neutral molecule. The seventh important term is chelating ligands, chelates or Krebs club. Basically, when polydentate ligands having two or more donor atoms coordinate by simultaneous use of two or more electron pair to the same metal atom, then the ligand is termed called as chelating ligand and the complex compound form is known as chelate. The example of such kind of ligands and the complexes is metal with EDTA, ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. In this case, this central metal atom is surrounded by six coordinate bond with the help of only one ligand. This ligand that is EDTA, it having six donor side and that's why it forms the chelate. The next important term is coordinate or dative bond. Basically, this is a special type of covalent bond in which the two electrons are contributed by the only one of two atoms links together and it represented by using the symbol double-headed arrow. Atom contributing the electron pair is known as donor atom and atom which accepts the electron pair is known as acceptor atom or acceptor. That means the ligand is always donor side and metal is always an acceptor side. Electron pair which is donated is called as lone pair. The next important term is coordination number and it shortly denoted by CL symbol. Basically, the number of monodentate ligands directly attached to the central atom or ion is called as coordination number or the number of metal ligand bond is equivalent to the coordination number. These both terms are one and the same. The second term that is number of metal ligand bond is equal to the coordination number is used for the complex formed by the polydentate ligands because in case of polydentate ligands there is two or more than two side in the same molecule which is responsible for formation of coordinate bond. That's why the number of metal ligand bond is equal to the coordination number for the chelates. Let us see the some example of some metal ion and their coordination number. Copper having coordination number is 2 but copper 2 plus having coordination number 4. Similarly, silver plus iron having coordination number in the HCN twice complex iron 2. The coordination number of nickel in this complex is 4. The coordination number of platinum in this complex is 6. The coordination number of cobalt in this complex is 6 and so on. This is all about the basic terms involving the coordination chemistry. In the next video, we will discuss about the IUPAC nomenclature of an coordination chemistry. Thank you. Thank you for watching.